New research is out on a deadly form of brain cancer. DIPG affects children and teens, and over 90% of those afflicted die within 18 months of being diagnosed. But as Stephen D'Souza explains, researchers in Toronto say they found a genetic clue about the disease. This is on our trip to Dominican when we went yeah. down after we had just gotten the diagnosis. Stan and Marisa Bertoya haven't changed their son Daniel's room since his death six years ago. At age 16, Daniel was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor and was told he had less than a year to live. Losing your eyesight, losing your hearing, losing your speech, losing your mobility, uh, basically just, just devastating to, to see your son going, going through that. His parents scoured the world for help, but found no effective treatment. We hung on, you know, to every little thing that we could possibly hang on to, but really there was nothing there. Before his death at age 18, family and friends organized fundraisers, and Daniel had one wish for the money. He said, Dad, I want it directly to research to help find a cure. And this big uh, white blob in the middle is the tumor. Daniel's type of cancer, known as DIPG, is diagnosed in a few hundred young people in North America each year. Located on the brainstem, it's inoperable and chemotherapy is ineffective. But using new technology, researchers at the Hospital for Sick Children discovered cancer genes they hadn't seen before. The genes mutated in this cancer are completely different than what we see in adults, and so we cannot use the same drugs as what we were using in adults. That told them they needed new and unique treatments. We can you know, go to somebody with this diagnosis and rather than it being a death sentence, maybe there's some hope that some chemotherapies are going to work now. While that's still years away, after raising more than half a million dollars for research, Marisa and Stan are happy to see progress. To get this little baby step right now, it's just amazing and I'm hoping that you know it'll turn into giant steps one day. His favorite player. They say this gives them even more motivation to keep raising money and awareness to help fulfill their son's final wish. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Vaughan, Ontario.